and welcome to my animal research project. Today we will be going over six topics about the animal I picked, raccoons. Let's get started. Physical adaptations. Raccoons have maneuverable hands to pry open food and climb easily. Raccoons also have well-developed vision to see well at night. Raccoons can swim well, but rarely do, since their hair soaks up all the water and makes them feel heavy. Habitat and diet. Raccoons commonly live in forests by rivers or streams, but can also live in urban areas. Raccoons are very adaptable to live in human environments because they can make nests in chimneys, sheds, and more. Raccoons' diets are not limited at all. They will eat almost anything. Since they are omnivores, they eat fruits, fish, frogs, insects, and bird eggs. When in populated areas, raccoons may eat leftovers in garbage cans. Seasonal behaviors. While they may stay in their den a bit while it's cold, they do not hibernate, so they are active all year. Raccoons are nocturnal, so they are most active during the night. Five survival behaviors. Finding food. To find food, raccoons in the city look in trash cans for food. In the wild, they get food from hunting and foraging. Courting. Male raccoons look around their territories for females. Raccoon mating season is from late January to mid-March. Territory. Raccoons mark their territory by rubbing themselves on objects around them, getting their scent on them so that other raccoons can tell if they are in another raccoon's territory. Defense. Raccoons have sharp claws and teeth. Raccoons will also make noises or grunt when threatened. Parenting. The mother will nurse their babies until they don't need to be nursed anymore. Then she will teach them how to forage and hunt. Selection. Raccoon masks block glare from fire so they can see well in forest fires to get to safety. Also, the blocked glare helps them see well at night, which is helpful since they are mostly nocturnal. Human impact. Humans made cities where a lot of raccoons live. This leads to raccoons taking food from trash cans in urban areas. This may also lead to raccoons consuming metals or plastic. In conclusion, this has been my animal research project and uh... Bye.